Hello and welcome to another Dongers of Runeterra video here today. I usually on Sunday go through the meta and through the Donger League specifically. Today I'm running a little low of time so we're gonna exclude the meta a little bit because there is coming up a new patch already on Wednesday. So we don't know if things are gonna be, get changed. But what we, all, what we all know about the meta right now is that the mid game decks really ain't working because the aggro decks are a bit, little bit too fast and the super late game decks are just as good at up, upholding the aggro so the mid game decks just lose to all the late game decks because they do the same job but better so play a really late game deck or a super aggro deck that's that's what the meta is saying you should be looking into darius decks for sure and uh, in the late game you can look to deep anivia you can look into uh, karma as well there is a lot of things you can go go with with the super late game decks and that won't be wrong we will see what riot feels like they need to fix because they, obviously they are saying we need to fix something otherwise they wouldn't have done that so do you see here the donga league is up on my screen here let's see i'm gonna zoom it a little bit see see so you can see it here so what happened this is the final standing basically uh, I'm so humble. I I won the league five points uh, with 11 points. We have Conister in second place. So a few few a few fun facts is like everyone in the league got a win. Uh, everyone in the league got a loss. Um, only one person did take points in every game, and that was me. Uh, easier when you win five, and then you lose a tight one. And uh, it's harder when you lose more games, of course. We're gonna get go through the top six, but we're gonna look look start, first start with the ones that uh, missed it and just missed out, and see how, how how the weeks were really down in the bottom, the ones of trying to make a resurgence really. And there there we had like uh, the first matchup between Arbach and Sevalstein. Uh, there there was actually one scenario where Arbach could reach it. He had only two points uh, coming in here. A lot of things had to go right. Uh, he did his part by beating Sevalstein here, also knocking Valstein out of it uh, at the same time, which it ob obviously didn't lead to that anyway. Proxel and Mulvader had like a clash of uh, getting a chance to get in. Proxel won that one. And uh, Decent Man versus BG. Uh, Decent, man Decent Man won that one. Both Proxel and Decent Man went on to win the next games as well, which was great. Decent Man made it to the top cut because of that. Proxel just missed out. Uh, we will come to that later. And he did a really like a nice submarine ride. Lost the first two, got one point in the loss, and then lost another one. Got a one, one point there and then won three games, but it wasn't enough. So that, that kudos to him there. BG had the unfortunate st this. The opposite submarine. He started strong, two wins, then four losses down. That 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 really sucks, of course, uh, for him. So Mulvader Arbach, both in uh, in the bottom here. The the order of them is wrong, I think, because I think Mulvader was the one beating. So this is how it should be, because of the the in the fa they faced off versus each other and Mulvader Mulvader won or Mulvader. This depends on how you want to say. It. So let's let's get on here to the ones that just missed out. It's Proxel and Jan. They they both took three wins. Uh, three wins was the minimum to get in. If we see here, like uh, from the fourth place down to the eighth place, everyone has three wins. So what really is the important factor here is that. Okay, sorry. Uh, this man had four wins. Uh, just not standing right here. I'm very sorry about that. That's, that's my my bad. So we had four four people here basically with three wins. Rhinosaurus and Breadball had one extra tight loss in it. And what's funny was the last game was that was played in this season was between Jan and Breadbot. And Jan was at five points. Breadbot at that time at seven. Which a Jan victory would mean that Breadbot would get knocked out. Both would be on seven points, and Jan had the strength of schedule between both Proxel and Breadbot then, because he beat both. Jan did end up winning that game, but he lost 
than two uh, and didn't lo lose but he did not win 2-0 so that made the, the tiebreaker didn't matter because Spreadwood got that last points in and squeezed in on a fifth place together with Rhinosaurus that also have had a decline in performance and uh, you can say had three wins was a three wins and then three losses but took two tight of two of them tight and still clinged on to this playoff other than that decent man has said he started in the bottom half here but took two wins and managed to secure one of the, the one of the higher seedings basically uh, with the fourth place our own uh, donger sith holocron me and him made it through as as the well creator of the dongers we are all dongers that are here right so he made it through one win one loss couldn't reach Conister because he lost to him specifically which really meant that Conister really has deserved that second place won all game except against myself number one that had an upset loss to Kier Redbot that had a really tough schedule and he made it through because of that two and one zero there because of if he wouldn't have won that we would still have seen Jan in here so very well of him so we're looking forward to to the playoffs uh, where the number three seed will face up against number six seed so we have sith holocron here versus renosauce we have decent man then matching up against breadbot and decent man breadbot had a game in the league um, in a week uh, in week two and that one decent man won two in zero so that's gonna be a revenge story for breadbot I think I think Rhinosaurus and Con uh, Rhinosaurus and Sith Holocron has had a game as well. Yeah, they just had one this week with Holocron winning it two to one. So that's also gonna be like R Rhinosaurus going for the revenge here, which would be very funny. And in the semifinals, I'm so humble and Conister, we are waiting here for the opponents. Uh, the lowest seed going through will play me because I am the highest seed and. The highest seed of the others will place Conister in the semi-finals and then we go to the finals. So that's where we are at right now. We are gonna try to play all the all the playoffs uh, during next week. We will see exactly how it will be. But that's that's the goal. If you want to join in on this, signups open today for for the Dongan League season two. We will kick it off 15 July is the goal. Uh, so signups is to the to 14th of July or 15th, we would appreciate you to go earlier, of course. All up to you guys. Um, no limit, of course, everyone can join in as long as either you're a Patreon, because that is included in your Patreon, um, Patreon kit. Otherwise, you, it's uh, just a five euro fee, then mail to a specific PayPal address. You will get all those details if you just join us on discord so if you like this video put a thumbs up and follow our channel here on youtube that would be very appreciated join us on discord especially if you want to join in to the dongan league because that's where the information really gets out once we started if you want to just uh, hang around and discuss decks as well you can also join in it's also free i mean last if you want to just see some really big misplays and occasionally some good gameplay then you should join into my twitch as well uh, on i'm so humble uh, twitch the link will be down below the spelling is a little bit weird so the link will be there i think that's it for this weekly recap sorry for the not so much about the meta but but i'm in a hurry dong is out